Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. Y'all remember what happened recently with Stacy Dash, or should I say Stacy Trash? She was accused of domestic abuse. But the funny part is, she was the one that called saying that it was in self-defense against her against her recent husband and yet she's the one that ends up arrested and you can see the mugshot you see she is one of these people who went against her own people he was she was a uh a, a, a supporter of the fox news fox noise um the Republican Racist Party, the Republic Klansmen. Uh, she basically threw her own, the black community under the bus. This is despite the fact that when she was an actor, it was the black community that supported her because she's part of the community or something like that. Of course, she is most memorable for a number of roles, but the one that she's mostly connected to was the role of the best friend of Alicia Stone's character in the movie Clueless. <laughs> That's what she's really known for. That's like really the only thing she's really known for. But I also want to talk about self-hate. She really has some say. She was recently released from prison. But when I say the self-hate. So looking right here. This is the booking when she was booked. Booking time. Well, this is in military time. So I believe this was somewhere around 10 o'clock. 10.22. Because this is in military time. She was eventually released. This is when she was released at 11.57 a.m. Now I'm going to skip this part real quick. Of course, you, you know she's female. This is where you, when you identify yourself during a charge report. But look at race. The W. Do you want to know what that W stands for? That W stands for white see when they identify you by race if you put a certain letter if she were to put b she would have been identified as black or a possibly arab or asian in possibly native american but she put down white but here's the thing she was born as i think a biracial or just simply a black person. So when you're identifying as white, that tells you what kind of self hate that Stacy Trash had as an individual. She does not look white. And they're not even treating her like she's white. They're treating her like she's a black person. She, they're treating her like what they really think of her. She, she was only used to throw, to be a, a minstrel show at the expense of black people. And this photo shows more of the self-hate that she is suffering from or she is allowing to display. This is why we 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 gotta do something about the self hate that's going on in our community. The self hate in our community is real and it's really damaging us. But that's all I have to say about this video. I wanna know what y'all think in the comment section. It's probably going to be one of the last few times I talk about this. 
for now, but Stacy Trash is lost. I just can't stand. I do not feel sorry for Stacy Trash. She is nothing but trash. And this proves it. Even when they're treating her the way they're treating her, she still thinks that they're going to come save her. They don't, they have no use for her no more. She wasn't the influence that Fox News only had her because they needed the black audience. And no black audience was going to trust a racist mainstream, lamestream media system like Fox News. So, Roger Ailes, before, well, well, he can rest in hell, before he died, eventually fired her. And she even said that she was the black girl. That's how what they thought of Stacy Trash. And many people kept saying that her karma was going to come eventually, and it did. They are showing you how white or black you are, Stacy Trash. But like I said, I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. That's all I have time for this subject. Make sure you like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.